Great to have you here. My name is Daniel. Now, Ghana's case count is up by 229, bringing cumulative cases to 12,193. Director of Ghana Adventist Health Services, Dr. Paula Mutreme, has confirmed the medical director of the Quadraso SDA Hospital has died of COVID-19, but with underlying health conditions. 48-year-old Dr. Harry Osu Boating was found dead in his room on June 13, 2020, few days after complaining of being unwell. A poetry test of samples taken confirmed he died of COVID-19 with underlying health conditions. Dr. Amutreme revealed 200 workers of the hospital are also undergoing COVID-19 tests. My colleague, Ohiming Terrier, has been interacting with Dr. Amutreme. Morning hours. Hey. When the matter or the news was reported to us, a team was dispatched to take a sample to test, to establish what might have led to the demise. And uh, when the results came, it was established that it was due to <clears throat> COVID-19, yet would underline health or medical conditions. By the grace of God, our workers, they are stable. We've met them, we've spoken to them, and uh, we've strengthened them. We've also fumigated the hospital, and now work is ongoing. Everything is under control. It is not true that we've closed Quadraso as the hospital. It is not true. They are working. So what about this uh, information that we also picked that you've stopped admission for the time being or something of a sort? How true is this? No, we've not stopped admission because when they were fumigating the place, we have to push or transfer the patient from one ward to another. And that might be the reason why people may paddle in the story around that we stop admission or we stop working. We are working. And then the reports uh, for COVID-19, they are being screened of a sort. Yes, it is true because um, now we should be rest assured that our workers, they are stable, everything is under control. For this reason, there is a need for us to test them, for them to know their status. Because the doctor was working in the hospital. He was doing ward runs with some of the workers. And uh, being the medical director, he was chairing a lot of meetings. So uh, we strongly believe that some of our workers may be at risk. And uh, for them to be on the safer side, it will be more expedient to test them all. So we've tested them. Yeah and we are waiting for the results. We trust in no time the results will be out. And when the results are in, then it will also help us to know the further action which we will take. How many workers are we talking about here? Now, um, we are of the view that we should be able to test all the workers, looking at the situation. So we are testing all the workers. How many? Oh, at least we test more than 200 workers. Wow. Yes. Okay. So you mentioned you went around with some of your staff members or the workers. What about the patients who probably might have come into contact with the doctor when he went around seeing them and attending to them? Thank you very much. This is a fantastic question. And uh, oh, it is also a brilliant question. You see, that's the reason why uh, we have their records. So we will work on the, the contact tracing, yeah. And uh, with this, we'll be able to get to all the patients. Doctor might have seen them, yes. What would be your assurance to people who hitherto have had so much trust and attend the facility seeking medical uh, services? What would be your word to them when as far as this situation is concerned. Thank you very much. The vision of Ghana Advent Health Services is to make our services, or to make Ghana Advent Health Service the citadel of medical excellence in the, next, in the few years ahead of us. And uh, we are encouraging our clients that they shouldn't be discouraged. We are doing everything possible to uh, provide quality services to them and we are assuring them that when they come to our facilities, they are, they, they, they are safe. 
they are safe. They are safe because we put this, we, we put in all the necessary measures in place to screen them, pre triagen and others. Um, so they, 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 are, they are safe. They are safe. This probably, as I speak with you right now, a team of seven medical experts are having a meeting right now, coming out with some protocols which will safeguard the, the, the network. So our people should be rest assured. Yeah. Right, joining us now is Ohiming Teria, who did that interview and has been following that story. Ohiming, what more have we gathered? Yes, uh, thank you, uh, Daniel. We are learning that over 200 uh, staff members of the Equadaso SDA Hospital uh, is currently undergoing uh, testing for COVID-19. And according to hospital officials, this is not the first time though they are doing this. And apart from the testing of the medical uh, officers here, the facility has also been fumigated uh, to prevent a further uh, spread of assault uh, at the facility here. We were asking whether this uh, news has affected the number of uh, uh, patients or clients who patronize the services of this facility. But according to Dr. Randolph Bar Edu, who is a clinical coordinator and also a senior uh, specialist, obstetrician gynecologist, he tells me this has not affected the number of people that the hospital see. Uh, the hospital continue to uh, record the same figures he used to record. Beyond this, he says this is not the first time that uh, a medical uh, staff has tested positive for COVID-19. And he says, this is something that they have been doing. Like every two weeks, they conduct a test for a medical staff here to know their COVID-19 status. And so they are allaying the fear of the public that the Quadraso SDA hospital has been closed down. No, it has not been closed down. It is still working after a medical director of the facility uh, tested positive for COVID-19. But I must say the, the staff who are here, uh, they are down. Uh, they have been badly affected by the demise of their medical staff who has been working with this facility since uh, 2013 as a medical superintendent. And almost everybody you see here either is in a red armband. You see red armbands being uh, raised and ere erected on the uh, pillars and walls of the facility, indicating that indeed the facility has lost somebody uh, who is dear to this facility, Daniel. Now, Ohiming, uh, tell us, when you went to the facility, did it seem like the number of patients, the, the amount of activity there is high or it's a bit reduced? For the number of patients who are here, according to the officers here, the management, it has not been affected in any way. They are seeing the same number of patients that they used to see uh, when the facility has not recorded a, a COVID death in, relating to the death of their medical uh, superintendent. And so they say the number has not gone down. It's the same numbers that they are seeing, uh, just that the morale of the uh, medical uh, staff is down compared to before the death of the medical superintendent. I mean, thank you very much for joining us with those updates from the hospital.